Well, it's official. Here we go. Russia has launched an invasion of Ukraine, according to the news. Oil prices pop 4% as Russia launches attack on Ukraine. Brent crude hits $100 for the first time since 2014. And all the futures markets are hemorrhaging value. So it looks like uh, tomorrow is not going to be, or later today, it's not going to be a good day for investing unless you want to do put options in the whole market. So I know I kind of made light of this earlier, but it seems like it really is happening. Russia has uh, actually done it. They have invaded Ukraine. So we were down in the futures up to 800 points. Now we're only down 640. Uh, well, I say only, that's 2%. So uh, it's going to be a rough, rocky day for the markets. We were down today uh, a few hundred from the last I saw. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, this is just going to continue to uh, get worse and worse, it seems like. Continuing the awesome start to the year 2022. So let's check the Google News feed here. I've been refreshing every few minutes here. Russia declares war, launches attack in Ukraine, explosions reported. And there's all kinds of live streams showing explosions and troops entering and it, uh, it's getting real. All breaking in the last couple of hours here. So there goes uh, oil prices even further, gas prices, not fun. Here's our crude oil right here, 96.58, up $4.86, uh, or 4.48 cents, 4.86%. Gold is also up, but all four major indexes, the S&P is down, the Dow is down, NASDAQ is down almost 2.6%. Russell 2000 is down. So yeah, this is not gonna be fun. We're, we'll see, um, since the US is really the biggest part of NATO, We'll see what we're gonna do other than sanctions. I'm sure after this, there's gonna be some kind of uh, further involvement. So let's see, we were, yeah, see after around midday today, well, really it's after midnight where I am. So this, we're into Thursday, but after early open Wednesday morning, we started free falling and then closed the day down. And now uh, we're down, 676. I'm surprised it's actually not lower. It probably will. I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how much more it fluctuates, but 684 right now. So yeah, it just gets worse and worse for the markets. Let's refresh here again, see if anything new. I was checking CNBC here for updates. Let's see. Let me see if I can pull something up interesting here to uh, boost my watch time. My watch time is horrible. I mean, as far as retention rates, like I get views and stuff, but my retention rates horrible. Well, now it's not a good time to make this about me, but where's that? I had an interesting map, better than a globe anyway. Um, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> NBC had a decent, um, they had a map of it, I'm trying to find that. Um, darn it. Let's go back to the breaking news uh, tab here. US crude futures jump by 4.73% to trade at 96.46. Brent crude over 100, spot gold, rose 1.05 percent huh. let's move this around and see not my favorite source for news but they may have something a little bit different well there's the big headline Um, I was watching another YouTuber uh, doing a live stream. It seems like uh, that's the thing to do right now. Uh, several of them. Oh, here's the here's a 
the infamous shot of the reporter ducking. This ha seems to happen every time there's a major conflict. You get one of these shots here, add to the drama. Um, but yeah, this is an explosion. This is not a mushroom cloud. That would mean there, there was a nuclear bomb going off. That didn't happen. So I heard another YouTuber's live stream. They said that. Blasts are being heard. See if this finance thing doesn't work out. I can always uh, just cover news, right? But I'm banking on it working. Anyway, not trying to make this about me. I genuinely want to cover this. I'm, I'm genuinely uh, surprised that this has escalated to the point that it's at. Um, I thought that I thought that this would uh, eventually fizzle out of the news, but it hasn't. Air raid sirens going off in Kyiv. Ukraine's president introduced martial law. Putin says our plans are not to occupy Ukraine. See Zelensky's appeal. Zelensky's the president of Ukraine. I want to find that map at least, at least show it on here. Oh, this is just, this is like their network TV. Just the news. I hardly ever go to these sites. It's usually just financial stuff. Well, I can show this at least. This is better than a globe, like I showed in the short video. Um, so it seems like, and I'm mainly covering this. Oh, here we go. I'm mainly covering this because of the effect on the markets. I'm not trying to regurgitate news that's already uh, consumable anywhere else. Even though I would like to think there would be people that would watch just because it's me talking about it. But so uh, these are the regions here. Well, this is one of them that apparently they had declared, and I, a lot of people think this was um, Russian induced, but they declared their independence from Ukraine. And Putin said that the Russian soldiers were gonna go in to defend the independence of these regions. But a lot of people think that this was like engineered by the Russians. Apparently these little uh, flags here with the circles, these are where the troops are stationed. So, I guess it's a full on invasion. So anyway, markets are gonna be quite rocky tomorrow. I just thought I would do the customary coverage of this topic since I see a lot of other YouTubers doing it. Uh, so that's my unique take on it. So uh, hopefully, hopefully you like that. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and thanks. And hopefully we've got some better news coming. Hopefully, who knows where this is gonna lead. Hopefully we don't have to get into another war. We just pulled out of Afghanistan like six months ago. So. Hopefully we don't get too consumed in this, but uh, that's all I have for this for now. So thanks for watching. Take care.